Welcome to 5MinuteTutorials.com. This tutorial is being recorded in Adobe Illustrator CS6 and should work fine in previous CS versions of Illustrator. Uh, I've tested down to CS4 and everything is uh, about the same. Um, what I have here is, uh, is a rectangle and what I'm going to be talking about is just some of the different ways of working with color inside of Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to be pulling open the color tab. It does default to CYMK. Uh, in your options here, you may just see this color bar, which will allow you to select uh, new colors. Okay. Now, uh, keep in mind here, you're not seeing the change here because I did have the outline color selected. I'll switch to the fill color, and now you can see it change there. You do need to click the options. The options is the top right hand uh, button on each palette. It looks like a triangle with uh, several lines next to it. Click show options and now you can see all the options. It will default uh, typically to CMYK. Um, it's a little bit difficult in picking colors uh, if you don't know how to mix in CMYK. I recommend using HSB which is hue is for color, saturation is the S, and brightness or value is the last slider. It's a little bit easier of, to actually pick colors that way. You can also pick colors by double clicking the color picker window that pulls this up here and it does default to the hue okay, attribute notice HSB that's the HSB sliders that we were dealing with this becomes your color bar here where you can change that hue you can click on the saturation and you can still pick a different color over here but now this bar here is is how saturated in other words nice and shiny and real faded uh, down here the third one uh, by selecting here is the brightness so it's how uh, we're adding black and white to that actual color you see once again you can change your colors over here and adjust it but that's what the HSB is, stands it also gives you the RGB values the CMYK values and the pound sign means the hexadecimal value used in web design web only colors uh, will limit it down to 256 web safe colors only so in general uh, probably not going to use that okay I'm going to cancel out of there um, once again, back over here, we can see here uh, the fill is selected, so we're working on the fill. If you click on the X here, now, um, I'm sorry, the X key, or you can just click on the outline, and that's the stroke color. This will toggle the four, uh, both of these colors back and forth. You also have that same arrow right over here. This little icon is going to default it back to black and white, and it's available here as well. Anytime you add a color, for example, here I've got this uh, outline going on and I'm going to click on the, the white here and fill it in. I'm going to click back on the outline and if I don't want color I can click the no color. Okay, it's a, that scuba sign looking thing here. You can click no color there and now that color is actually gone. So that's a little bit about the color window there and how to use the actual color picker and what some of those represent here. Be sure to watch the other videos that talk about the color guide, the swatch palette as well as the actual libraries available inside of Illustrator. Thanks again for watching. This is 5MinuteTutorials.com. If you uh, like the tutorials that we offer, please go ahead and share this with your colleagues and friends.